big story right now at noon. A night of torrential rain has pushed local streams to their limits and in some cases beyond. In just a moment, local 15 meteorologist Deidre Tate will have the latest predictions. But right now we begin our coverage in Baldwin County where emergency management officials caution those living along Fish River to prepare in case evacuations were needed. Local 15 Stephen Quinn was there all morning and has the story. For residents living on the Fish River, it is always a tense time whenever there is a lot of rain. And while the rain may have subsided, it's more a question now, not from what's coming up from above, but what's coming down the river. The main thing we worry about is stuff coming from upriver debris. Mm -hmm. Oh, and like there's a canoe over there stuck right now against my dock over there. And uh, things that's going to come down and hit your house to hurt it. I'm not so worried about the water itself. Is that a concern today too, maybe that a, a tree or something like that? Is that something you'll have to watch out for? Yes, definitely. We've already seen a bunch of trees come by, like 25, 30 feet long, come flying down through there, and, and that's scary for hitting your dock and tearing it up. Now, officials I spoke to with Fish River Fire and Rescue said that there was one house that had to be evacuated farther along the river, but as for the people who live here along Ferry Road, there was no evacuation so far. The big issue now is going to be the tides. High tide is expected to be later this afternoon. Reporting from Fish River, Stephen Quinn, Local 15 News. Thank you, Steve.